Welcome to the Farmer Kitchen. Today we're gonna have something that I really don't have a name, but I think I'm gonna call it the Red Ear Ricotta Roundup. Now this was inspired by a trip to the Keys where we're catching yellowtail snapper and it was lobster season. So we took these ingredients and a white sauce that I've learned over the years. We put that in a lasagna and it was delicious. Today we're gonna start out with a base that just won't lose. Here's where we're gonna start with a half a stick of butter, half a yellow sweet onion, and a shallot. And we're gonna cut those up. We're gonna put those in a half a stick of butter. And that's the beginning of this wonderful lasagna recipe. It's kind of a seafood lasagna. Now, I have my 2011 red ear caught in May. We got this nice firm flesh, and I'm telling you what, it goes perfect. It reminds me of some of the mangrove snapper or dog snapper that you'll catch uh, down in salt water. And this makes a great, great meat to put in this. Now, if you want to flavor it up a bit with a, a, a few different ingredients, get you a little, I don't know, four and a half ounce can of a tiny shrimp, maybe some clams. If you like that sort of thing, you could use crab meat or whatever you want to use. Now, first thing we have to do again is to take 12 ounces of lasagna noodles and drop them in boiling water. Let's get them going. And we're going to simply drop our noodles into the boiling water. All right, now we're going to take our pound and a half of fillets and we're going to cut them up into small uniform sized pieces. All right, that's about what you want your fish to look like. The next step is start our butter and the onions and the shallots. Here's our onions and our shallots. Now you don't want to get this real hot because you don't want to burn your butter. You just let those simmer. Because if you burn your butter, it's going to taste not nearly so pleasant. Now I'm going to take that off the heat so it's not too hot. I'm going to take two thirds of a cup of all purpose flour and I'm going to mix that in. Now what I'm going to do before that has a chance to burn is I'm going to get some wine my two cups of Chardonnay, and I'm going to start pouring that in, mixing it up. Watch what happens here. Here's the fun part. Now I'm going to take two cups of milk, stir that in, put it back on the heat. Medium heat. Watch here in a minute how that starts to thicken up. And give that a few minutes until it starts boiling. Now that's what you want right there. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. We got just a little bit of bubble. Keep stirring it. Don't burn it. At this point, you're going to take your fish and you're going to let it cook just a little bit. Now remember, this is going to be in the oven. By the way, I've got to preheat my oven. I'm going to start that right now at 350. Stir my fish in here. Kind of see what we got going on here. See how that's thickening up. Go ahead and put your little shrimp in if you want to go that route. And your clams. Now see what you got going here? Let that cook just a minute, not too long, because it's going to cook in the oven. At this point, when it gets right here, I'm going to take me, using my handy dandy automatic grinder that my friends gave me, how that works. Cracks up some pepper. Now I use Tella Cherry Pepper. You have to look for it. It's got just a, such a wonderful smell to it. And supposedly, that's what Colonel Sanders used in his chicken. Just a tad. Salt and pepper. And you want to go ahead and put just a little bit of Italian seasonings in there. Get that flavor throughout. Now, we're getting ready for the next step. I'm going to bring my 9 by 12 cooking dish in, and I'm going to bring in my ricotta. It has an egg beaten up in it, and I'm going to take that, and I'm going to spread out on my first layer of noodles. There's our first layer of noodles. Now, if you'd like, you can salt and pepper this layer. Right before we transfer this into the dish, mix it up real good. You take you about a half, three quarters of a cup of mozzarella cheese. 
Let that melt in there real good. Then you take about three quarters of a cup of Parmesan in there. Let that melt all in there. I wish you could smell this. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna spread it out. And this will be my first layer and I'm making a mess. There's our first layer. Now doesn't that look good? And you know what? I'm gonna put a little, just a tiny bit more pepper in there. Then I'm gonna come back with another layer of noodles. And then I'm simply gonna repeat this process for three more layers. And then at this point, we're gonna take some whipping cream and we're just gonna drizzle over the top here. For health reasons. Now on top of that, we're gonna take a handful of Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle that in. I'm gonna take my Italian seasoning. And my cracked pepper. Now it's ready to go in the oven for about 50 minutes. You need to look in there and make sure it's bubbling and brewing. Now remember that fish has already cooked some. So you let it just go to town until it starts to turn brown. All right, we've made it. We're at the crucial point. I'll cut me a piece out of this. And I'm gonna cut me off a very large piece here. And then I'm gonna take my little spatula. I'm gonna get in here, dig this all out. Oh, and there's my piece of lasagna. We'll call it Ready or Roundup. A seafood lasagna type deal. And there's all you need to have you a wonderful meal. I'm, okay, I guess I'm just gonna take a bite of it and make sure it's okay. Mmm. Mighty tasty.